My name is Brian Kreswick, and I'm the treasurer at the Border Patrol Foundation. I first started supporting the Border Patrol in 2014 and was immediately drawn to uh, the mission of supporting the families, and particularly the, the children of, of fallen agents. The foundation in and of itself uh, comprises of a couple different pieces. Uh, we provide, uh, first and foremost, uh, support to the fa families of the fallen agents. Uh, we also support uh, other financial considerations with uh, other members and, and employees of the Border Patrol and the professional staff. My name is Brandon Donlin and I'm the Vice President of the Border Patrol Foundation. Prior to joining the Border Patrol Foundation, I formerly worked for CBP and worked alongside of the Border Patrol agents. So transitioning into a role in, in the foundation was kind of a natural progression for me to continue supporting the, uh, the agents on the front line. One of the missions that I'm extremely proud of that the Border Patrol Foundation carries out is our family services mission. Um, when a, an agent falls, uh, whether that be in the line of duty or off duty, the Border Patrol Foundation provides a check for $10,000, usually within 24 hours of notification of that, of that agent's passing, directly to his beneficiary. My name is Erica Aguilar. I am the surviving spouse for Border Patrol agent Luis A. Aguilar. End of watch, January 19, 2008. This foundation did not exist when Louis was killed. In 2009, when the foundation was started, I quickly wanted to join and make a difference, just like the small board that they had was making a difference. Jumped on to volunteer and to give other family members hope that they would be okay, and other agents that if anything were to happen to them, their wives and their kids would be okay. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Bird, uh, my brother, was uh, killed at the Border Patrol Academy at his time there, Thomas Kent Bird. I got notified of it. I was a resident deputy sheriff in Imperial County, California, on the north side of the Sultan Sea, a little hamlet called Bombay Beach. It's not exotic as it sounds. I got a call to drive all the way to El Centro, uh, about 80 miles away, to meet with the sheriff. I knew I'd done something wrong. I finally get there and I walk in the door and he's, he's crying. And he tells me, lad, your brother's been killed. Tom's dead. And it wasn't until Many years later, that Erica got a hold of me, Erica. And we were talking and invited me to one of the Border Patrol uh, Foundation events in San Antonio, Texas. And it was just the greatest thing to be around others who have gone through the same thing that I went through and it was good to be able to talk to everyone you know and just you have to let people know you're, you'll get through this it's hard it's tough you'll never forget someone told me that I was a lightning rod for our families. And that's truly what wakes me up every morning. I not only think about Louie, but I think of all 151 agents that were killed in the line of duty. And it motivates me because I know how much Louie loved his job. Um, obviously that $10,000 does not fill the void that is created when that agent falls. But it does make life a little bit easier uh, in, in terms of not having to worry about how the rent's being paid, uh, how the mortgage is being paid, how they're gonna buy their son a new suit, um, how, 
how they're going to get their mother-in-law flown in for the funeral, things of that nature. So we, we provide that immediate support as, as part of our family services mission. Uh, additionally, a, a lot of our, our agents are deployed in, in very remote areas of the country and uh, a lot of times medical coverage uh, from the local hospitals is, is not as great as it is in some of the larger cities. And when those agents get ill or their family members get ill, they have to travel long distances to receive medical care, sometimes prolonged medical care. Those costs that are above and beyond what their health insurance provides for um, are also some of those gaps that we fill as part of our family services mission. One of the central programs to the Border Patrol Foundation is our scholarships program. Since 2009, we've given over 180 scholarships to children of fallen agents uh, and Border Patrol agents and staff. All of our fallen heroes are, in fact, it's our silent partners. Uh, we keep them in mind, uh, and the silent partner program is specifically uh, for uh, children of the fallen uh, with a, a, a scholarship uh, for all four years of whatever secondary education they would like to do. Uh, we also have the uh, services, family services piece, uh, and we're doing other uh, activities as necessary or as requested uh, through the Border Patrol uh, the Peer Support Program. And I'm proud of the workforce we're adapting to those changes while still recognizing how important our legacy is. About I think most of us, when we see a police officer, a firefighter, a Border Patrol agent, or a military veteran, we say thank you. But I think sometimes we forget about the families, the spouses, the children uh, that, are, that are behind those men and women. And the Border Patrol Foundation is specifically focused uh, on supporting those families and ensuring that the, the memory of fallen agents uh, are not forgotten. And I'm happy to say and very proud that my kids Louis and Ariana Aguilar are recipients of a Silent Partner Scholarship. They are both attending El Paso Community College and hope to become productive citizens in this world. Our scholarship program is broken into two pieces. We have the Silent Partner Program, which allocates $25,000 to children of a fallen agent. And then we have a competitive scholarships program, which uh, children of agents or uh, Border Patrol staff can apply into, and each year we allocate about $45,000 for those competitive scholarships. We have a big pipeline of children uh, who are looking to receive these scholarships over the next 20 to 25 years, totaling about $2.6 million. And so it's a critical program, and it's a program that needs your support. Going once, $6,000, thank you. Our scholarship program, as well as our family assistance program, is supported by individuals, corporations, and other nonprofits that believe in the mission of the Border Patrol Foundation, and we appreciate their support. And I encourage you to become passionate and to learn about our foundation and what we do. And I hope that you fall in love with the Border Patrol Foundation, just like Louie fell in love with the Border Patrol to protect America's nation's borders. Since the inception of the Border Patrol Foundation, we have donated over $1.7 million in our family services program directly to surviving families as well as agents in the Border Patrol. We receive donations for our scholarship program from individuals, corporations, and other nonprofits that believe in the mission of the Border Patrol Foundation. There's no amount that's too small, no amount that's too big. And so I'd encourage you to learn more about the Border Patrol Foundation. Check us out online, come to one of our events. You can find out all the information that you need to know at www.borderpatrolfoundation.org.
Hi, I'm Erica Aguilar, and I want you to give with your heart to the Border Patrol Foundation. Donate below.